far right is Elizabeth Page, and next to her is uh, Megan Maleka and goalkeeper Madison Rose. Well, Tony, uh, congratulations, first of all. Uh, I don't think anybody could have guessed that shooting lineup you had uh, ready for him, but you had some girls come through who uh, aren't your star players, obviously. Can you talk a little bit about your order and how you select players for this? Well, we basically from... Tony, I'm sorry, can you, can you move the microphone in front of you, please? Thank you. Basically, from the first day of... Uh, our regular season after high school trials, we're already starting to work on PK. So we do have a process for it. So if nothing else, we knew that no one was going to be more well prepared as far as the order and who's kicking and stuff, but it still comes down to the nerves and the ability to finish. And, you know, at, at this stage, sometimes it's just more like a flip of a coin. So we're obviously very thankful for the, for the win, but, you know, we did have our order ready and we left it a little bit up to the girls. I think they took all over 50 PKs that are charted throughout the year, so maybe we're analytical, like the baseball people. But there's, you know, after 50 some kicks, there's not much that differentiates number one to number seven. So we say, hey, look, we got seven shooters here. Why don't you guys decide the order? See how you guys want to do it. And uh, you know, sometimes your leaders will step up. Sometimes it's someone who's not uh, someone that you expect. They'll step up. So we're just very fortunate. Um, <laughs> um, I think that um, I felt really well prepared. I think that doing the PKs has helped a lot, and I knew that um, that the team, they were going to do their part, and that I was going to try to come up big when I could. If both teams have been scoring and got on a bit of a roll as the peak, as the shootout were on, when you make the save, you feel like, okay, I gave us the break we needed kind of thing? Yeah, I think I did, and especially when I saw Elizabeth over here, um, ready in line to kick. I knew she's a really consistent kicker, so I think I felt pretty good after that. Elizabeth, did players have any sense of the previous game going to shoot up? Did you know that that was happening, or were you uh, off by yourself and didn't know what was going on? Oh uh, yeah, we went into the stadium and were watching the entire shootout um, in the previous game, so it was kind of in the back of our heads. We didn't want to try to get to it, but since we were so prepared, you know, once we finally got there, we all knew we just needed to do what we could to pull out the win. Elizabeth, what are you thinking when you walk up there with the chance to win it? Um, well, it was really nice that Maddie saved it, so <laughs> um, I wasn't too nervous. Um, and obviously, having so much practice, I was like, you know, I'm going to shoot it the best I can, and whatever happens, happens. What did you ask the ref? <laughs> well, I have a habit of taking penalty kicks. I like to set the ball down run back and not stop and then go right into the shot. And some refs won't let you do that, so I asked the ref if once he blew the whistle I could back up, and he said no, so then I just took it normally. Megan, it was such a hard-fought defensive game. Did you guys kind of expect that? And your, you and your fellow defenders obviously played so well. You know, did you did you feel like it was going to be a tight um, kind of defensive battle like that with two of the teams? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a close game. Like, it was going back and forth the whole time. but. I feel like defensively we really just shut them down like they didn't get many shots and if they did like we had Maddie here like save them and like I feel like just all around we were very solid defensively so we weren't too afraid and also I feel like um, some of the forwards that we were playing against they weren't like the biggest competition for us so like we could just shut them down pretty easily. Well, first of all, we're going to have to shake off some of the dust today because it wasn't our, our best performance overall. I think we had a number of uh, our key players that didn't have their, their A games. Uh, so sometimes it's nice to know that you can still get by. Some of your players haven't had their best game, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, turn that around a bit. Uh, I'm not a big fan of playing some of them three times during the course of the season, and we've already played Tonka twice. I have a lot of respect for them. Um, but if you're going to play him for the third time, I guess there's not a better time than to play him in the championship game. So uh, we're fortunate for that. But uh, you know, we both know each other. Uh, I think it shows also how strong this late conference is. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be a battle as it was uh, in our previous two outings. Elizabeth, from a player's perspective, what about the team and it's on to a third time? How do what are these two teams do well? What kind of matchup are you already expecting? Um, I mean, we kind of know how they play, but obviously, played them earlier in the season, so as um, we get more into postseason, it's going to be a different battle. Um, 
I think we'll be prepared to play them and not going to be thinking too much about what's happened in the past. We're only going to worry about what we can do to win the game on Friday. Tony, like you said, you know Minnetonka well. They know you guys well. You know, is that kind of a wash as far as as far as any kind of familiarity when when you're playing a team for the third time? Yeah, I, I think so. When you look at, you know, you scout other teams and you try to see what their tendencies are, and it, it's wonderful to have all this information, but if you can't stop the other people with all that information you have, none, none of it, you know, means anything. The fact that we know what they can do, they know what we can do, it's still going to come down to who's able to execute and do the things that are going to be necessary to get the outcome out of the game that you'd like to have. I think the state championship on the line is probably enough of an incentive to not worry about what's what's happened in the last two games because everyone knows our, our boys, for an example, beat Minnetonka twice during the regular season and they lost in the state quarterfinals. Uh, two, two good teams going to, you know, someone's going to win, someone's going to lose, so um, we will certainly not be coming into the game overlooking Minnetonka. Did they stand out to you as being the team that did A, B, or C best or had an identity that, that set them apart? Is anything about Minnetonka that was they, they defend very well. They're, you know, they, it's been one of their their keys for the entire season. They defend well. They're they're very strong athletically. They've got some good defenders in the back that are strong in the air, and I think that some of their players are, have stepped up from early on in the season. And that's what can happen when you take a look at uh, the route that they had. Let's say in comparison to ours, they knocked off Edina, which we thought was one of the best teams in the state. They knocked off Eden Prairie, a top ten team, and they knock off Maple Grove, a top five team. And then they just knocked off Egan number one. So uh, you can't luck your way through that many games. So but they're obviously a good side. Other questions? Coach Clark, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.